Hello everyone, I'm Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. It's been quite some time since I've greeted many of you in a Nintendo Direct, but I'm happy to be back to deliver some Wii U and Nintendo 3DS announcements directly to you. Something is on the way, and it isn't just the moon. The trailer you just saw is for the Nintendo 3DS remake of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which was originally released for the Nintendo 64 in the year 2000. Compared to other Zelda games, the world of Majora's Mask is extremely strange and somewhat spooky. <laughs> Set in a world doomed to destruction, you have just three days to traverse the land of Termina, save it from the brink of destruction, and bring hope to a cast of endearing characters trapped in the final hours of their lives. Coupled with challenging dungeons and a three-day time limit, this dark departure from the Zelda formula must have left some intense and scary memories in players' minds. As we worked on the remade version, we set out to maintain the original level of challenge while keeping the game accessible for anyone, so we also focused on making sure the gameplay experience was as smooth as possible. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D will be available for Nintendo 3DS in stores and Nintendo eShop in spring 2015. Bill Trien from Nintendo of America has more updates for you. Bill? Thanks, Mr. Iwata. And speaking of Nintendo 3DS games, there's one on the way that's unlike any other strategy game out there. It blends turn-based battles with real-time action, and it's got an amazing pedigree, too. The developers of the Fire Emblem series are bringing us codename Steam. In the game, Abe Lincoln himself tasks the secret agents of Steam with using steam-powered weaponry to outwit and outgun an alien invasion. But you'll have to think tactically, because Steam is a finite resource. It fuels your character's movement, attacks, and a clever ability called Overwatch, which requires you to command each member of your team effectively. With Overwatch, your agents can save some steam to use during the enemy's turn and actually interrupt them with a surprise attack. You may even stun them and end their turn early and avoid some damage all at the same time. Each mission begins by asking you to assemble an elite four-man squad belonging to the strike team eliminating the alien menace. Splitting up your teammates to accomplish separate goals is often critical. You could have one act as a distraction, while another focuses on healing, and two more attack from higher ground. As you play through the campaign, you'll unlock many new team members, some of them as famous as Abe Lincoln himself. And each one has its own set of unique abilities. Today, we're profiling four of them, including two newly revealed characters. But let's start with a couple we debuted at E3. Fleming's All-American Eagle Rifle shoots a burst of three shots. It may seem basic, but unlike most default weapons, it can even be used during Overwatch. With his special attack, Eagle Strike, he can hurl an explosive eagle to cause heavy damage. Hailing from the land of Oz, Lion's unique weapon, the Lion Launcher, enables him to leap high across the battlefield while stomping on enemies he lands on. His special attack, the Mighty Roar, damages and stuns all surrounding enemies. Light on her feet, Tiger Lily brings fast aid to allies in battle. Her Medi Mortar launches healing compounds that explode to restore health to any characters in the blast zone. And her special move, Healing Wind, will recover a substantial amount of health for all nearby units. Tom can knock enemies away with his punch gun and even stun them. He's great for sending ahead to set up Overwatch traps that can stun enemies during their own turn. His special attack, Hijinx, tosses landmines all around a given area. You'll have to use each character's weapon abilities wisely to succeed in battle. But you'll also have to use your environment to your advantage. 
Codename Steam is headed to store shelves and the Nintendo 3DS eShop in spring of 2015. The NES Remix series has already brought a whole lot of retro love to Wii U. It's made dozens of classic NES games feel fresh again by bringing plenty of exciting twists to classic gameplay across tons of rapid-fire challenges. And as you may know, the series is finally coming to Nintendo 3DS. Ultimate NES Remix contains the best parts of the first two games, while adding some cool new stuff too, like the new Famicom Remix mode. This unlockable mode is exclusive to Nintendo 3DS, offering up additional challenges from the Japanese version of NES Remix. You may even notice some alternate sound effects, too. There's also Speed Mario Bros, which contains the original Super Mario Bros. game in its entirety, except with the movements of Mario, all the enemies, and even the music ramped up to super speed. But what really amps it all up are the new online leaderboards, a first in the series. Each challenge has its very own leaderboard, so you can compare your best time or top scores with others in your region on anything from the Remix challenges to Speed Mario Bros to Championship Mode. And when you see a replay button on the Best Time leaderboard, you can watch a replay to study the gameplay of top players. Plus, every day a random challenge is selected. These daily challenges encourage you to check in daily, hone your gaming skills, and see how you stack up against others on the online leaderboards. Pure retro gaming bliss, on the go. And, for a limited time, when you buy Ultimate NES Remix at retail or on Nintendo eShop, you can get a Famicom theme from the theme shop on Nintendo 3DS. Ultimate NES Remix for Nintendo 3DS comes to stores and the Nintendo eShop on December 5th. Next up is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. In this game, the player controls Captain Toad and searches for treasure through a variety of mini-universes, all while rotating stages in various directions and heading toward the Power Star at the end. We've prepared a trailer that shows off a big chunk of the 70-plus stages in this highly detailed world. Have a look. The stage you just saw has a challenge called Slipped Past All of the Shy Guys. By completing such challenges, you can unlock content. I hope players who pick it up discover just how much replay value it has. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker will be available December 5th in stores and on the Nintendo eShop on Wii U. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is also one of the many titles you can now pre-order or purchase directly from Nintendo.com, even when you're away from your Wii U or Nintendo 3DS. Just hit the Buy Digital button on your PC or smart device to purchase. Once you purchase, you can redeem your code automatically. Your game will start downloading to your device right away. Visit Nintendo.com slash buy digital for more information.
As you all know, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U releases on November 21st, and on that same day we're launching a whole new way to interact with your games. Of course, I'm talking about Amiibo. On launch day we're kicking things off with 12 Amiibo. They can each be scanned on the Wii U gamepad and brought to life in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U to battle with or against you, your friends, and other Amiibo. Those same 12 Amiibo can then be used to interact with other upcoming games, and depending on which title, they'll bring new costumes, new gameplay elements, and more right into your game. We've also announced six more Amiibo that will be arriving in December, with many more coming early next year. Next, we'll dive into some more Wii U titles, and also touch on how Amiibo interact with these games. Let's start with Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 released last May, but the race isn't over yet. Let's start with a new trailer. That was footage of the first pack of Mario Kart 8 DLC. The world of Mario Kart 8 will soon expand to include new courses, carts, and drivers from other Nintendo games like The Legend of Zelda, F-Zero, and Excite Bike. In addition to eight new courses, the pack also includes three new drivers, Link, Tanuki Mario, and Cat Peach, plus four new carts, the Blue Falcon from F-Zero, and the Master Cycle based on The Legend of Zelda. Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 1 will be released on November 13th. And in May 2015, we're also planning to release DLC Pack 2, which comes with new drivers from Animal Crossing, namely Isabel and the Villager. There's also a special discounted combo pack containing Pack 1 and Pack 2. So if you own Mario Kart 8, please consider them both. You can buy any of the DLC options for Mario Kart 8 in the game menu or on the Nintendo eShop on Wii U. Mario Kart 8 is also one of the first Amiibo compatible titles. When you scan compatible Amiibo, you can get an in-game racing suit themed to the character you scan. Your Mii can then wear these suits in the game. So as you can see, it lets you dress up your Mii like fan favorite characters such as Mario, Yoshi, Kirby, or even Samus Aran. Here's the full lineup of compatible Amiibo. For more details, please check out the official Mario Kart 8 website. Next up is a title we debuted at this year's E3. In his latest adventure, Kirby is made of clay and ready to set off on a journey through an equally clay-filled world. When you draw a line on the touchscreen of the Wii U gamepad controller, they'll make a rainbow for Kirby to roll along. Move Kirby on down the line, or tap him to attack enemies and blast your way through obstacles as you head for the goal. Since you're not directly controlling Kirby, he'll get tossed around all over the place. But because of that, you also get a special sense of satisfaction when you maneuver him just the way you want and get all of the items. 
One of the features we didn't announce at E3 is a multiplayer mode for up to four players. In this mode, player one plays as Kirby, while everyone else joins in as Waddle Dee and moves about on their own. Players can spread out to collect items separately or have Waddle Dee carry Kirby around, allowing the gamepad user to focus on drawing lines while the other players carry Kirby to the goal. There's no I in team, but there is in Kirby. Like moldable clay, Kirby can transform into various shapes this time around. And in the multiplayer mode, even Waddle Dee can make a difference. This title is also compatible with Amiibo. The name of the game is now finalized as Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. It will be available in February of 2015 in stores and on the Nintendo eShop on Wii U. Hyrule Warriors has some cool Amiibo functionality too. When you tap the Link Amiibo on the Wii U gamepad while playing Hyrule Warriors, you can unlock a new weapon, the Spinner. The Spinner is a useful item in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and in Hyrule Warriors it's great for smashing your enemies. Scanning in other Amiibo has various effects as well. Every single Amiibo compatible with Super Smash Bros. for Wii U is also compatible with Hyrule Warriors. Scan one in and you'll receive a randomly selected material, weapon, or rupee. This Amiibo function will be added to Hyrule Warriors with a free software update this month. At the same time, the Twilight Princess pack will also be available to purchase as add-on content for the game. Like Mario Kart 8 and Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, we're planning Amiibo integration for more Wii U titles both this year and in 2015, like Yoshi's Woolly World, Mario Party 10, and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, all of which will be getting Amiibo compatibility next year. Amiibo, the figures that can come to life and supercharge your games, will launch alongside the first compatible title, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, on November 21st. And there are more Amiibo coming in December. Find out how to get yours at Amiibo.com. And speaking of Smash Brothers... We have more games coming to Nintendo 3DS and Wii U from our talented indie partners. For an update, let's go to Damon Baker. What's up guys, Damon Baker here at the EMP in Seattle. To kick things off, I want to give a shout out to our wonderful Nindy community. That's a little pun. 
but it does illustrate how important and deeply connected the independent games community is to Nintendo. Independent developers are responsible for some of the most original and creative ideas in gaming, and we're proud to be a part of it. That's why I'm here at the EMP Museum, where indie games are about to take over. Nintendo is sponsoring the new Indie Game Revolution exhibit at EMP, featuring the most groundbreaking and creative work from the indie scene. You can hear stories from more than 40 independent game developers, designers, coders, composers, and critics, while experiencing firsthand how the indie community is pushing boundaries to deliver some of the best games out there, like Shovel Knight and The Swapper. But the EMP isn't the only place where we're spreading the Nindy love. We also recently hit up IndieCade in Los Angeles. Across Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, we had 15 digital games at the festival, seven of which were first playable experiences for attendees. Additionally, we had 10 developers at our booth to show off their games, including Wii U exclusive Affordable Space Adventures as an IndieCade Award nominee. From Runbow to Sportsball, fans had a blast checking out all the great games and tournaments, so be sure to tune in online after this Nintendo Direct for a full IndieCade recap and exclusive developer interviews. But what does this all mean for you? It means that along with all the great content already available on Nintendo eShop, Wii U and Nintendo 3DS have tons of awesome independent games on the way. Stuff like this, just to name a few. We're really excited about all the great exclusives and multi-platform titles coming to Nintendo eShop soon, so make sure you check it out on a regular basis to see what's new. But Nindy Advocacy goes above and beyond traveling to events and eShop merchandising. We're one big family. That's why we worked with Choice Provisions to put a Commander Video Trophy in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. That trophy symbolizes our love for this gaming icon and the creativity that comes from our independent development partners. And in working with Atlas on the highly anticipated release of Persona Q, we collaborated on bringing a Persona Q Nintendo 3DS XL system to North America, celebrating the first Persona title on Nintendo platforms. It's a brand new Persona title created by the developers of both the Persona and Etrian Odyssey series. And for fans of customization, we'll be releasing Nintendo 3DS menu themes for both Shovel Knight and Sonic Boom. Speaking of Sonic, we'll be releasing the demo for Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal for Nintendo 3DS immediately after this Nintendo Direct. We even worked with Sega to create a Sonic Boom puzzle swap panel, so keep an eye out for it in your Mi Plaza. Up next, we have a special appearance by Mr. Miyamoto himself, but I leave you with one more third-party crossover. You've seen Mario and Luigi in cat suits, but I doubt you've ever seen anything like this before. Hello, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Today I'm wearing a Pikmin t-shirt again. I've been working on a lot of Wii U games recently, and I'm hoping to deliver some new gameplay experiences that take advantage of the gamepad. While I was working on the game Pikmin 3, I also began working on a Pikmin animation project. Although I have experience making games, I had never created an animation. Even though Pikmin are the main characters, their name is right in the title, they're pretty small and it can be hard to see exactly what they're doing. So I started working on this animation because I wanted to create something that would allow you to see these hardworking Pikmin up close and personal. While I was working on it, it almost started to feel like they were actually living all around me. For E3 2012, I created a video with Pikmin walking around and following me everywhere. Ideas like this were born from the idea of Pikmin living all around me. We came up with things like that or... or even these right here. And now, the animations I was working on are finally complete. 
They're very short in total, about 20 minutes long, and we debuted them at this year's Tokyo International Film Festival. After this Nintendo Direct, we'll release Pikmin short movies for purchase on Nintendo eShop, so you can watch too. In the theater, we screened it in 3D. So, on Nintendo 3DS, you can watch Pikmin short movies 3D. While on Wii U, we have the beautiful high-definition version, Pikmin short movies HD. While working on these shorts, I used Flipnote Studio to create the storyboard. The Flipnote footage I created during this time is also included in the movie, so please give it a watch. And while we're on the topic of Pikmin, we've decided to release a demo version of Pikmin 3. I'd love for you to try out the demo as a way to experience Pikmin 3. And after playing the demo, if you purchase the full version, you can transfer your save data over, so it's okay to try out the demo first. Also, we'll be continuing with various other activities involving the game, even on Miiverse. So we hope you'll continue to find ways to interact with Pikmin 3. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto. Moving on, let's talk about Monolith Thoth's Xenoblade Chronicles X, which we haven't talked about much since E3. The game's plot sees the people of Earth fleeing their home world in the wake of an intergalactic war and crash landing on an uncharted planet. In an attempt to find refuge in this mysterious land, the runaway explorers scour the train and conduct research. Using the city of New Los Angeles as their home base, the player will conduct planetary research that involves the completion of quests, like hunting native creatures, collecting items scattered across the planet, and taking on requests from residents. There's a wide array of these quests that will influence the survival of humanity. Some missions will further the main storyline, some will deepen your bond with friends, and others will have you doing small favors for locals. We are making this title a massive RPG with an even bigger world to explore than in General Chronicles on Wii. The game offers various support features to aid the player in their adventure, like a gamepad navigation system, so that you can enjoy researching the planet stress-free. We are targeting a 2015 release for Xenoblade Chronicles X. The last title we are covering today is Splatoon, which we are updating you on for the first time since E3. We have a new trailer for you. Please take a look.
So, how did it look? Splatoon is an action-packed shooting game where you play as a squid that can transform itself into human form to mark its turf with colored ink. At its core, Splatoon is a 4 on 4 online multiplayer shooter in which two teams compete to cover the most ground with ink, but it also has a single player campaign that pits your sweet like character against an army of octopus enemies equipped with an arsenal of ink weaponry. Squid vs. Octopus, nature's epic battle for supremacy, tough, and the survival of each species begins. Splatoon will be available for Wii U in stores and on the Nintendo eShop in the second quarter of 2015. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching.